okay so till yesterday we have completed like a rip configuration between a firewall and a router we have configured rip before that we have configured one loopback address loopback one address on a router with the address like 192.168 100.100 slash 32 this was a loopback address we configured on a router uh, there is a yeah oh, someone. so we have configured one loopback address then we have configured a rip between a firewall and a router then we have advertised this loopback address inside a rip whenever the router send routing updates to a firewall using a rip protocol firewall was learning this particular 100.100 .100 via routing routing the protocol via routing updates from a router so firewall was able to install this particular route in his routing table and whenever we send the traffic from this particular PC to uh, this particular 100.100 .100, firewall has a routing now using a RIP protocol after this particular uh, lab and the security policy we have redistributed static routes between a RIP and see we have a static route configured from a firewall to a router right for this particular VLANs so this static routes we have redistributed into a RIP so a router can learn whatever uh, routes available uh, on a firewall using a static route we have one more static route which is a default route this is also getting redistributed into a rip and router is able to learn this both static routes from a firewall so this was a uh, till yesterday we have done now what we will do sorry yaar. what we are going to do we are going to configure a static ospf route between one minute hold on there some issue okay someone is joining the firewall will learn routes of a vlan 10 and vlan 20 from a switch via ospf routing okay so let's do this particular lab now before doing a ospf we will <coughs> remove static routes uh, from a firewall uh, yes sir i want to ask you sir, some questions so yeah please for, so now let me remove a static route from a firewall first but so let's see if you want to go to 110 this vlan 10 and vlan 20 how it is going from a firewall let me see now if i go to firewall get uh, router info routing table all with this command you can check whatever routes available suppose if i want to go to 10.0 subnet which is our vlan 10 right vlan 10 is 192.168.10.254 that is vlan 10 subnet so this is one particular uh, switch ip but actual subnet is 10.0 right so it is going via 5.254 port 4 but how it is uh, acting it is acting as a static route as of now because we manually configured a route on a firewall if i remove this route as in our previous classes we have saw when the vlan 10 test pc is uh, hitting a firewall we are getting an error message on a firewall that uh, we don't have a reverse route available right either we should have a static or dynamic route available or else we'll get an error like a reverse route is not available now on a firewall we don't have a 10.0 is not available see previously we had one 10.0 but now we don't have any 10.0 in a routing table so if i hit from a routing table we'll get an error see if i want to go to 100.100 now there is no reverse path check if you see firewall doesn't have a route available now message 
reverse path check and uh, it is dropping a traffic here only okay now we will configure OSPF first we will configure OSPF on a switch as per our diagram we are configuring a OSPF between these devices right between a firewall and a switch we are configuring a OSPF so first I will configure OSPF here then we will configure on a firewall level in OSPF we are advertising three networks one is 5.0 one is 10.0 one is 20.0 let me do it on a switch we have a commands handy to configure OSPF on uh, Cisco devices this is a command router OSPF one then you can advertise uh, networks there are many commands available inside OSPF if you want to do any filtering or anything but in this we are not going with the OSPF we are going with the firewall so we will not go deep into OSPF in this classes okay after I enable OSPF on a switch side let me enable OSPF on a firewall to configure a OSPF on firewall just go to network and OSPF first you need to advertise a router ID 5.1 then we need to configure one area here area 0 regular area it is okay then I will configure one network which is directly connected network with area 0 192.168.5.0.24 ok now I have a area everything is configured let me check on a switch side if we get a OSPF OSPF is up and running now let me see a OSPF neighbors neighbor okay we got a neighbor up and running let me see on a firewall if we are getting a routes previously we did not had a route but now we are getting a two routes from a switch and route is OSPF route if you see OSPF O is a OSPF route okay now again I will try to ping from uh, this PC yes I am getting like uh, pings available but now we don't have a static route on a firewall how router is learning a route we need to check if you go to a router enable show IP route 192.168.10.0 uh, is now okay it is having because of default route let me delete a default route from a firewall as well because when the traffic now what is happening see we have as you remember in yesterday's class we have a static default route available and here we have a rip in yesterday's class what we did we did a redistribution redistribute static route into a rip so this is a static route available on a firewall right default route so this route is getting redistributed into a rip and a firewall is advertising routing update to a router now router has a routing table that is 0.0.0.0 slash 0 and the next stop ex exit interface should be ethernet 0 slash 0 now firewall doesn't have a specific route for a VLAN 10 subnet but it is having a default route so when the traffic is coming from this particular source and destination is 100.100 uh, .100, when fire router wants to send the traffic reverse it is not checking uh, it is not having a 10.0 routing table now firewall is having like 0.0, .0 but it is not having a 10.10 .10 subnet it is not having in his routing table so if he is not having any specific route he will send the traffic via default route to a firewall we will remove a static route then again we will try to ping let me delete this static route now you see we had one static static default route this should be removed from a router then again yeah we don't have any default route now again let me try to ping from a VLAN 10 PC now you see I don't have a re replies 
now what I am going to do in next lab here we have a OSPF let me delete this all things so hold on here we have a rip now okay router as of now here we have like a default gateway so we don't need anything here we have a default route pointing to a firewall okay so here also traffic will reach till firewall firewall knows both the subnets he knows a VLAN 10 and he knows like a loopback address of a router loopback when address also but router doesn't know where is a VLAN 10 available VLAN 10 subnet router is not having in his routing table so what we will do we will advertise OSPF into a RIP we will do a redistribution this we will redistribute into a RIP redistribute OSPF into RIP then this particular router branch router will learn VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 from firewall via RIP protocol when we do a redistribution of a OSPF into RIP let me do I'll go to for doing a redistribution of OSPF into RIP we'll go to a RIP as we did the redistribution of static yesterday same we need to do a redistribution of OSPF here you see we in a re redistribution section just go to OSPF and select OSPF click on apply now we'll go to router again and we'll see if we are getting a now we are getting a rip commands rip uh, route uh, routing via rip available right we are getting a 10.0 and 20.0 correct now let me go to vlan 10 again and we'll see yeah now again i am getting routes available one more thing we will do now if you go to switch how switch is sending uh, traffic he doesn't have anything with the vlan 10 right sorry loopback address right switch is having one default default route pointing via firewall but he is not having like 100 dot network in his routing table if you don't want uh, via this and we want via 100 dot zero how we can do it let me redistribute okay before that i will remove a default route from a switch no ip route 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 168 5.1 sorry okay now we don't have a routing on a static route uh, available on a switch again I will try to ping from uh, VLAN 10 PC and we'll see what is happening now we are getting like uh, destination host unreachable from a gateway from gateway we are getting a reply that destination host is unreachable now what we will do we will go to OSPF and we'll do a redistribution of OSPF rip into OSPF we'll find out now what is happening just go to redistribute rip okay apply it here now we'll again go to switch and we'll find out show IP route now you see we are getting like 100 dot network via OSPF you see via OSPF external network because OSPF is firewall is sending rip updates to a switch via OSPF for redistribution right you see it is OSPF E2 is like type 2 network external type 2 OSPF external type 2 network now again let me try to ping from uh, VLAN 10 PC and we'll verify now you see again we are getting uh, updates uh, ping reply from uh, VLAN, VLAN 10 PC so what we have did uh, in uh, our network let me show you 